I am Dr. Khalid Amin Khan from Oil and Gas Development Company, Pakistan. Our main author is Amber Latif, along with other co-authors from Qaidiazm University, Islamabad. The title of our presentation is Velocity Moisture Transform for the Topsoil, a case study from Rawalpindi, Pakistan. The main aim of this work is to establish an empirical relationship between velocity and moisture that can be used as a velocity moisture transform. This is the SEG copyright notice. This is the outline of this presentation. First we discuss the objectives of the study, then a little introduction about the scope of geophysical methods and their various applications. We take a look at the methodology and equipment used in the Velocity and Moisture Survey. This is followed by some details about the Moisture Sensor and Velocity Recorder. Then we have our case study of Velocity Moisture Survey of topsoil and application of regression analysis to the acquired data to derive an empirical relation between velocity and moisture. And finally we have our conclusions. The main objectives of this study are to develop an Arduino-based low-cost moisture logging instrument, carry out a survey for measuring the velocity and moisture content of topsoil in the study area, and derive a velocity moisture transform through an empirical relation between velocity and moisture. We know that geophysical techniques have a number of applications in exploration, environment and engineering. Seismic refraction is commonly used in near surface investigations. The velocity information derived from refraction surveys is used to compute statics for exploration applications and geotechnical properties of soil for engineering applications. A velocity moisture transform is derived that can be used in agricultural applications. The equipment used in the survey is quite simple. A global positioning system is connected to the laptop through the USB port. A specialized software, GPS workstation, continuously receives the positioning data and it takes average to get a more precise geographic position of the acquisition point. A two geophone based seismic recorder is connected to the audio input jack of the laptop. Its related software is capable of measuring the velocity of the topsoil. Then a moisture sensor is also attached to the USB port along with necessary software to monitor the moisture content of the topsoil. In this way, this equipment is capable of simultaneously recording the position, velocity and moisture content of the topsoil at any given point. This is the block diagram of the moisture sensor. The electrodes are connected to the moisture sensor circuit which in turn is connected to the Arduino board's analog port, which is programmed to compute the moisture percentage from the digital values received from the Arduino's 9-bit analog to digital converter. The moisture data is sent to the laptop where a moisture logging software takes average of multiple moisture values taken at a given location. This is the moisture measurement system comprising of the Arduino nano board along with the soil moisture sensor. Arduino is an open source electronic microprocessor with a one board solution where all the input output ports, microcontroller and APROM are available on a single board along with USB port. This is a standard gadgetry but its functionality for a specific application depends on the programming. The Arduino is programmed using the Arduino's development environment. Its programming language is called Sketch, which is a variant of C language. A two geophone based seismic recorder is used to measure velocity of the topsoil. The geophones are connected to the laptop's mic input and the seismic signals are digitized by the sound cards analog to digital converter. The geophones are planted one meter apart and a hammer is used as a seismic source. A small bank is made near the first geophone. Waves travel to the two geophones and the seismic traces are recorded. Arrival times T1 and T2 are picked. As the distance between the two geophones is set to 1 meter, 
The velocity is computed using the distance between these two geophones and the difference in their arrival times. This is the interface of DigiSize software used by the seismic recorder. It takes multiple readings at a single point and finally computes the average. Here it can be seen that we have 12 pairs of seismic traces indicating 12 velocity measurements have been taken and finally their average is displayed. Now using the above discussed equipment, a velocity moisture survey is carried out in a small locality of Rawalpindi city. We can see the map of the survey area on Google Earth with 17 acquisition stations where velocity and moisture are measured. This is the table of measured velocity and moisture content data at the 17 stations. This data will be used to generate contour maps of velocity and moisture distribution in the study area. In addition, this data is also used in regression analysis to derive a linear empirical relation between velocity and moisture that can be used as a velocity moisture transform for the region. This is the contour map of velocity of the topsoil in the study area. We can see that the southeastern part has higher velocity while the southwestern region and northeastern region has lower velocities. Similarly, this is the contour map of moisture content of the topsoil in the study area. This map shows a similar trend as that of velocity. But since velocity and moisture have an inverse relationship, the regions where velocity is higher, the moisture content is lower, while the regions where velocity is lower, the moisture content is higher. The velocity moisture data is also used in regression analysis to derive an empirical relation between velocity and moisture. The software interface for regression analysis indicates that the coefficient of linear correlation is 0.826 with a standard error of only 3.6%. Here we can see the cross plot of velocity and moisture along with the best fit linear regression line. The dashed lines on both sides of the solid regression line are the standard error lines. This indicates that most of the data points are within the standard error limits. The empirical relation between velocity and moisture saturation is also given. This equation can be used to transform velocity data derived from seismic refraction surveys into moisture content. Now finally we have our conclusions. We have presented a simple low cost instrumentation to measure velocity and moisture content of the topsoil. An empirical relation has been established between the two parameters which can be used as a velocity moisture transform. Using this transform seismic refraction method can be applied to agricultural applications for monitoring of moisture content of the topsoil. Thank you.